StadiumDB.com presents World Stadiums Under Construction, April 2024 Welcome to our video where we provide you an update from stadium constructions around the world. We will be moving from west to east until we reach the last stop of our trip, China. Let's discover 15 stadiums from three continents and see the progress that has been done since our last videos. And we start with Etihad Stadium, capacity 61,958, completion date 2026, Manchester. There are already three large cranes behind the north stand of the stadium, which can be seen from the south stand of Manchester City's venue. Fans of the citizens arriving for matches, starting with the match against Arsenal on March the 31st, have experienced and will continue to face new parking restrictions around the Etihad. The extended stand is expected to be ready for the start of the 2025-26 season, with the entire project to be completed by the end of 2026. Anfield Capacity 61,000 Completion date 2024 Liverpool Another league attendance record for Liverpool FC was set at Anfield when the Reds hosted Brighton and Hove Albion. The Premier League game attracted 60,061 spectators, better than the previous record of 59,947 at a home game against Manchester City in early March. The expansion of the Anfield Road stand has resulted in new attendance records being set on a number of occasions this season. The walkway around Anfield, where work has also been carried out, also looks fine. Everton Stadium Capacity 52,888 Completion date December 2024 Liverpool The construction will cost a total of £750 million. The venue will be one of the arenas to host UEFA Euro 2028. Everton Stadium's barrel-clad roof is the result of three years of meticulous planning. As work continues on the complete roofing of the East Stand, the race is on to finish all the work on time. All the concrete terraces around the pitch are already installed and more than half of their 52,888 seats are already in place. The aim is also to complete all work on the pitch and clear the area of cranes and other construction machinery to begin work on the most important element of any stadium, the pitch. Estadio Santiago Bernabeu Capacity 84,744 Completion date 2024 Madrid The Bernabeu's most impressive new feature, a 360-degree video board, is in place and 100% complete. Will this solution revolutionize the match day experience in La Liga? The inclusion of 360-degree screen inside the stadium was keenly anticipated by Florentino Perez, and no wonder. The board is eye-catching in photos and even more striking when seen in person. The total investment cost of the new Bernabeu has increased over the course of construction to 1.17 billion euros. Spotify Camp Nou Capacity 105,053 Completion date 2026 Barcelona FC Barcelona, on the other hand, has given up on the idea of a video board like the Bernabeu's one because it would distract fans. Around 1,000 workers are on site and this number is expected to increase. In addition to more workers, several giant cranes needed for the work have also been brought to Camp Nou. The machines, which arrived in parts from Kuwait, have a lifting capacity of 120 tons. The blog runner hoped to complete the works in time to return to Spotify Camp Nou in November 2024. We said a lot more about the progress, the project and the controversy surrounding the new Camp Nou in our last video. Gavis Stadium Capacity 24,950 Completion date 2024 Bergamo the new Gavis Stadium with 25,000 fully covered seats will be ready by the end of the summer, refurbished thanks to an investment of more than 100 million euros and an overall five-year redesign project. 
This will happen after a five-year redevelopment operation which began in 2019 with the demolition and construction of the new Curva Nord Pisani, followed by the Tribuna Rinascimento, and, since last year, the demolition and construction of the new Curva Sud Morosini. The central stand was already upgraded in 2016 with the inclusion of a pitch view and sky boxes. Košická futbalová arena Capacity 12,625 Completion date April 2024 Košice The construction of the football arena in Košice will soon be complete. Seats have already been installed in the new stands, north and south, where two screens and camera platforms have been added and the interiors conceal state-of-the-art technology. On May the 1st, the stadium will host the Slovak Cup final, before which there will be a small official opening ceremony, including the receipt of the UEFA Category 4 stadium certificate. Before we move on, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to stay tuned for more interesting material. Hristobotev Stadium, capacity 18,788, completion date 2024, Plovdiv. Construction work at the stadium continues. Serious progress can be seen in the work on the roof of the corner sectors of the central stand. Work on the finished touches is ongoing, wrote the construction company. The PFC Botev emblem has been placed on the facade of the central stand, which has brought much joy to the fans of the yellow and black. The first work started as long as 12 years ago, in 2012. Stade Prince Moulet Abdella, capacity 69,500, completion date 2025, Rabat. At least seven large cranes are rising above the wooded area next to the stadium under construction, and the facility increasingly resembles the outline of a sports arena. Among other things, the first story of the stands is being raised. Fans wonder what the stadium will look like when completed. Based on the work that has been done, it seems that the stadium will be more angular than oval from the outside. Stadium Nibatuta Capacity 88,000. Completion date 2025. Tangier. Morocco is one of the countries where the world's best football teams will play in 2030. Work is underway in Tangier to make the upgraded venue one of the World Cup arenas. Footage from a construction site in a city of around 1 million people show a crew dismantling the roof and other elements of the old stadium. Will the arena be suitable to host, for example, the semi-finals of the 2030 World Cup? Stade Amahoro, capacity 45,000, completion date 2024, Kigali. The stadium in Rwanda looks superb. At night, its facade lights up in different colors, creating a very similar look to that of the visualization. It is less spectacular in the daytime, but it is very coherent and the patterns on it match the whole. Inside the facility, there is also something to keep the eye on. The seats in the stands are in the colors of Rwandan flag and there is not much left to install them all. The expansion of the Stata Mororo began in mid-2022, with Turkish company Suma Construction Inc. becoming the main contractor for the work. Baghdad International Stadium, capacity 60,000, completion date unknown, Baghdad. In 2015, due to the ongoing warfare in Iraq and the financial crisis, work was halted and the unfinished skeleton of the stadium stands remained on site. Crews are now returning to the site of the future stadium and work is moving towards a complete resumption. Xi'an International Football Center Capacity 60,000 Completion date 2024 Xi'an The stadium from a bird's eye view already looks ready and even the football pitch is already prepared. It is not an athletics arena, which is rare in China. This stadium is presented as the first professional football facility with a running track in the northwest of China. Nansha Cultural and Sports Complex Stadium Capacity 60,000 Completion date 2025 Guangzhou 
The large stadium located over the water is getting taller and taller and for the time being the work mainly concerns the part of the stadium that will tower over the rest of the venue. This will give many spectators at the stadium a view of the water body. In addition, a sizable opening will be created between the roof and the stands, through which views of the Pearl River will be revealed. Shenzhen Sports Center Stadium Capacity 45,000 Completion date 2024 Shenzhen The circular shape of the stadium is clearly visible and this sports hall under construction next door is at a more advanced stage of work. The new stadium will be designed to host world-class matches and cultural events. The venue is set to once again become the arena for matches played by Shenzhen FC, which has played there for most of its history. We will conclude our journey right here, in this vast country, China. In a month's time, there will be another update video from the construction sites around the world. And in the meantime, we bid farewell to prepare more material. See you there! Thank you.